Now Van Obel again. Goes off on a run, goes away from Renard, plays a lovely ball. Half chance here, shot comes in just wide. Good shot there by Alvaro Iglesias. Jean Willems there, the uh, Dragons coach. Looking thoughtful. Now, this is Perry Miguel for the Dragons. Good early ball. Dragons have got men in the circle and they've got the first goal. And it's Florent Van Oval diving in there. The racing didn't deal with the left wing attack and ball in particularly well. And uh, Van Oval diving ahead long has uh, given Dragons the lead here. Fine goal, Andy. Yeah, it's just interesting to see at last uh, they've managed to get the ball wide and high quite early. Um, and then fed in a really nice long ball for an easy deflection in. There's been a lack of pattern really in the game so far, so that's the first time really that Dragons have managed to get some shape. It's tough, it's cleverly slipped. Beautifully done. And a racing club back on terms. Well, that was a beautifully worked uh, corner there. And Andy will correct me if I'm wrong, is if the first shot at goal is a hit. The ball has to hit the backboards. No, no, I was not What's your interpretation? Have you seen that one, uh, Andy? No, I'm a bit afraid. Yeah, this tends to come, <laughs> perhaps you think about the indoor hockey, maybe is uh, get an idea if it was going to be a hit, if it was an indoor game. Oh, it's given away. This is tougher now for Dragons. Oh, the deflection was there. It was inch perfect there from Scott Tupper. We're less than two minutes away from a shootout, and now turnover ball again. Now, Peters goes forward. Is this the moment for the Dragons to pounce? Van Obel picks up a, a poor pass and played in his direction, but without the accuracy that was required. And the chance goes away again. Very much the story of the day, I'm afraid. Final pass has often deserted both teams. Now, Solis. Van Dorn, Denea plays it back, goal for the Dragons! It's Van Ovel again, we're not going to get our shoot out here. Van Ovel for the second time in the game throws himself forward, makes connection and the ball ends up in the back of the racing net. And with uh, 1 minute and 16 seconds left on the clock, the Dragons have found a goal here, and will that be the winner? Oh, Racing Club looking to take off their goalkeeper here and to play with the extra outfield player. Great finish there by Van Ovel, who looks to look down and out at half time, but still able to find the energy from somewhere. This is Scott Tupper wearing the bib to show that he is the kicking back. The player who has the privileges of a goalkeeper. But not the encumbrance of the kit. The last 10 seconds now, surely it's all up for Racing Club. This needs to go route one, or not at all. It is drilled in, oh, and it deflects wide. And the Dragons lift their arms in celebration here. They will finish third in the Euro Hockey League in a very competitive game, perhaps not of the highest order, but with so much local rivalry at stake. It is the Dragons who edge out Racing Club Brussels, who gave it everything here, only to come up marginally short. And even then, with the last touch of the game, they were within, what, a metre of putting the ball in the back of the net. The margins between success and failure are often as so tight and you can see the difference down there.